Olympia, the city which gave birth to the Olympic Games. Olympia was the name of the holy place where the Olympia took place, the most sacred and renowned sporting contests in honor of Zeus. Olympia was never a city, never had permanent residence, and the only buildings that existed there were the numerous temples and altars, along with the stadium, the hippodrome for chariot racing, the arena and gymnasium, all necessary for the games. Lodgings were scarce and existed solely for the priests and their assistants, who were responsible for these places of worship. Administratively, Olympia always relied on its two closest cities, Pisa and Ilida. These two were always in competition over ownership of the sacred site and right to hold the games. Finally, Ilida gained the right after 572 BC when its inhabitants completely destroyed Pisa. The oldest indications of human habitation of the area, even though few, suggest the presence of places of worship from the geometric age, that is from the 3rd millennium BC. Also unknown is the date of the foundation of the Oracle of Zeus, the god most worshipped at Olympia in classical times. What is certain is that during the 9th century BC, Olympia was already a sacred place attracting pilgrims from all over Greece. The fame of Olympia grew to such extents that by the 8th century BC, it had reached all the Mediterranean from Mesopotamia to the depths of the east to the west, mainly the Greek colonies in South Italy. The area is known, of course, for the world-famous Olympia. The ceremonies organized every four years in honor of Olympian Zeus. The name of the Olympic Games, the greatest modern sporting events, derives from them. In ancient times, though, only athletes from the officially recognized Greek cities were allowed to participate. All the Greek cities, from Central Greece to Asia Minor and South Italy, considered it a great honor to be able to send their representatives to the Games, thus called Panhellenic. The Games were organized four years apart and were held on the 5th. That year was named of the Olympics and was the most reliable unit of measuring time for all Greeks. The city of Ilida kept minute chronicles concerning the exact dates and what happened during the games who won, and any other related details. The first historic evidence we have of the Games is about 884 BC. At that time, as tradition has it, the Spartan king Lysergus made an agreement with the king of Ilida, Hephaestus, and the king of Pisa, Cleosthenes, to declare Olympia a sacred and immune place. The agreement was accepted by all Greek cities. According to Plutarch, the agreement was written on a copper disc and placed at the Temple of Hera, which still existed when he gave his account in the 2nd century AD. Historically though, the beginning of the Olympiads is set at 776 BC, as that is the year the Ilians began listing the winners. The first one being Corobus of Elis, winner of the stadium race.
The games lasted for five days in the summertime, always during a full moon. The athletes competed nude. The crowning of the winners with a wild olive branch wreath called Cotinos would take place on the last day. The victorious athletes were greatly honored and widely praised in all of Greece. The contestants as well as viewers were exclusively male. At Olympia, there were no musical or theatrical contests, and thus the absence of a theater or conservatory at the site or mention of it from many of the ancient writers. In 393 AD, the Byzantine Emperor Theodosius ordered the closing of all Greek places of worship, including the one at Olympia. In 426 AD, probably by Emperor's decree, Part of the Temple of Zeus was demolished and the rest was totally ruined from an earthquake in the 6th century. As time went by, many of the buildings were covered by the sludge of the Cladeos River and the erosions of the Cronius Hill. The Alpheus River also carried away the whole Hippodrome, none of which remains today, and part of the stadium. During the Middle Ages, the spot was completely erased from memory. The most noteworthy buildings that can be seen today include the Temple of Hera and is a model example of Doric architecture. At its narrowest sides, it had six pillars and 13 at its longest. The Temple of Zeus. It was built in 456 BC and is a model example of Doric architecture. The inner rooms of the temple hosted many statues, chief among them being Zeus's Chryslophantine statue made by Phidias. The gymnasium was where athletes went to train. It was roofed all the way through so the athletes could practice running no matter what the weather conditions were. The stadium could hold 45,000 viewers. One side was built on the hill's natural slope. Whereas the other had been artificially elevated. Entrance to the stadium was permitted only to the judges, athletes and heroes. Today, only a room remains to remind us of the accommodations. As we walk the length of the entrance, it is important to reflect back to all the famous athletes of the ancient world that passed under it and the agony they must have felt for the contest they were about to take part in. At the site of ancient Olympia, we have the opportunity to visit two of the most important museums in Greece. The Archaeological Museum of Olympia which is one of the most important museums in Greece, with noteworthy exhibits, including the statue of Nike by Peonios and Miltiades' own helmet, and most significant, the statue of Hermes by Praxiteles. <laughs> 